Okay, so now I'm recording, so I'll share my screen. If somebody would unmute and let me know you can see my screen, that will be fantastic. Oh, hang on before I do that. Can somebody let me know you can see my yeah, screen? Yeah, you're okay? good to go, uh, Duncan. Uh, Colin. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Robert from Belgium, welcome. Okay, as I say, I am Colin Simmons, and it is my pleasure to be here just to run through a short presentation. The industry I'm going to talk about today has come around really because of a major problem that, that has happened within, well, around the globe. And this in the financial industry. It's, it's the problem that the banks have caused. The problem is, is debt. More and more countries are in debt, more and more companies are in debt, and more and more individuals are in debt all done by credit via banks. The banks have caused a major, major problem globally. And the thing is, we all know about the crash that happened in 2008. And the thing is about that is the banks were all bailed out. So they didn't actually solve the problem. And I honestly believe there's gonna be another major crash because the system is still the same. So there has to be a solution. There has to be a solution to the financial problem that we have around the globe. And that solution, I believe, is crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is an industry that, has, that, has, that is growing at, a, at an incredible rate. And I look at, well, why is this growing? Well, firstly, more and more people are connected to the internet than ever before. They are connected to the internet via smartphones. More and more people have smartphones, and more and more people 24-7 are connected to the internet. It means that the whole globe is one global community. So when you're looking at crowdfunding, and all it is, it's a, a crowd of people that are fundraising together. It means the whole globe becomes one community. This, the internet, to be fair, you'll see has disrupted many, many industries. If we look at the taxi industry, we've all heard of Uber. That's come along via smartphones and has changed that industry. If we look at uh, the music industry, uh, more and more people just stream music, stream films via the internet instead of buying them. If we look at uh, the hotel industry, Airbnb is another major player in that industry. The financial industry, I believe, is the only industry that hasn't really had a major disruption within uh, via the internet. And I think that is coming now with crowdfunding. Here I'm sharing with you just a handful of some of the leading players that are involved in crowdfunding. These are a handful of platforms. You may well recognize some of these platforms. GoFundMe, Facebook, Just Giving, Impact 101, PayPal, Kickstarter. These are some of the major players that are out there today. So how big is this marketplace? Well, the, the source for this, for, this, uh, for this page is crowdfunderinsider.com. And they've said that crowdfunding is growing at 136% a year. It's a growing, growing industry. And it makes absolute sense. People need to find a way to get themselves out of debt. Another key indicator how big this industry is becoming is when you get a major payment processor, such as PayPal, they are the world's largest payment provider, also allow anybody to fundraise using their platform major indicator that we're in the right space another well-known platform i'm sure most people on here will recognize is facebook facebook and what i suggest you do after this call is just go onto facebook in the address bar type the word fundraisers you'll see the page i'm sharing with you today at the bottom of that page you'll see a big blue bar that says raise money for a personal cause i believe that that statement is very very unusual for most people to understand because we're all conditioned that you that you fundraise for a charity or for a big big global cause but what they're saying facebook is saying very clearly is that you are able to raise money for any personal cause it could be to get yourself out of debt it could be to buy a new car to pay off a mortgage on a house to help a family member who, with a broken leg who's out of work, it could be for any reason whatsoever. So who can crowdfund? Well, actually, 
as I've just said, anybody can. It doesn't have to be just a big company. As long as you're over 18, you have access to the internet. These days, via a smartphone or a computer, you are able to set up your own campaign. You may well have seen more and more of these different uh, fundraising ideas on Facebook when it's somebody's birthday. People are fundraising for whatever cause that they want. It's a big trend that's happening globally. Here I'm sharing with you just a, a quick story that came out last Christmas, just before last Christmas, of a broke father in the UK who has five children. He was panicking. He didn't know how he was going to get through Christmas. So he decided to put together a crowdfunding campaign. He used GoFundMe. And the crazy thing is that within a few hours, he managed to raise over £2,000 from people all around the globe that saw his story and decided to send him some money so he could have a good Christmas. Crazy. Incredible. What I find really incredible about this story is that his campaign was shared 19,000 times. That is the power of people helping people. That is the power of social media. In the UK, we have the Financial Conduct Authority. It, it, it's a, a proper association that's looked closely at crowdfunding. And they've described it as a process of raising funds for projects or good causes through a group of people working together today via the internet. They've actually uh, categorized crowdfunding into four different types of crowdfunding because people will tell you, oh, it's illegal. They'll, they'll put all crowdfunding into one pot. There are actually four different types. Now, loan-based crowdfunding, investment-based crowdfunding is regulated. You need to have a license from the FCA to be able to operate in that field. If you haven't got a license, that would be illegal. Now, donation-based and reward-based are what we use within Facebook, within GoFundMe, within Impact 101, it's all donation-based. I am legally allowed to send a donation from my bank account straight to somebody else's bank account. I'm legally allowed to receive a donation from anybody across the globe as a donation. Here I'm just sharing with you some of the uh, statistics. It's a bit out of date now, to be fair, but you'll still get a good picture of how big this is. GoFundMe is probably still the biggest crowdfunding platform. At the time of this slide, they had 50 million supporters. Now, all a supporter is, is someone that has seen somebody's uh, fundraising campaign and decided to actually help that person. So what, why did GoFundMe do this? Well, every donation that goes through GoFundMe, they will take a small cut out of that donation. That's how they make their money. That's why they do it. That's why they provide a platform for anybody to promote wherever they want. Same for the rest of them. And GoFundMe, uh, and they started in 2010, so they are right today uh, eight years old. This is their ninth year. They've done over $5 billion in donations through their website, which is massive in such a short space of time. Now, here we are now in 2019. We have a new kid on the, black, on the block, which is Impact 101. They have looked at the industry of crowdfunding, and more particularly, they've looked at the industry of peer-to-peer -peer crowdfunding. And this is the area that they are in. And in fact, they are dominating this space. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share with you a short video that just gives you a bit of a flavor for what Impact 101 is, is about. So please sit back and enjoy this short video. What would your life be like if you could receive donations of $20, $40, $75, $150, $300, $600, $1,200, $1, and even $2,400 over and over again every day, received instantly and never ending? Timing is everything. Being in the right place at the right time with the right people and recognizing that can dramatically change your life. Impact 101 is a registered Canadian company that launched on January 17, 2019. The parent company is a cutting edge IT company that's been in business since 2011. In just their first 15 weeks, here's the amazing things that Impact 101 has done. 
shattered every record for global growth with members already in 141 different countries. That's never been done by any company anywhere. Had over 4.4 million page views. Had nearly 750,000 unique site visits. Had over 641,000 unique IP addresses visit the site. The graph of traffic on Alexa shows exactly what a major global movement this is. So what's got people so excited? Impact 101 is a dominant leader in the massive new arena of peer-to-peer -peer crowdfunding. This is a huge new trend. In 2017, it was a $34 billion industry, and by 2025, it's projected to be a $300 billion industry. It's quite possibly the biggest economic shift any of us will see in our lifetime. Impact 101 gives their members all the tools to be able to raise and receive funds for anything you want to raise funds for. Anybody can plug in and grab a big piece of this exciting new arena by using our system. In fact, in just 15 weeks, Impact 101 members have already received nearly 26,000 donations, totaling over $4.1 million. We have many, many members around the world who've already received donations in the five-figure range, and you can be one of them. It's really simple to get involved. You choose the donation grids you want to be a part of, and you put the system to work for you. You receive 50% of all donations that come into your grids, and that can get big in a hurry. Not only that, all donations are peer-to-peer, -peer, so that means you receive them immediately. There's no company in the middle holding it up or controlling the funds. If you want to receive funds today, you can, and we'll show you exactly how to do it. If you're looking to be part of the fastest growing company in history, with the biggest new trend we've ever seen, watch the next video on our Three Grids to Freedom plan. It'll detail exactly how you can grab a big piece of what's happening and get yourself to where you want to be. Thanks for your time. Incredible growth. Right, the people behind Impact 101. Well, the CEO is a guy called Frank Savidia. He has 45 years success in business, 20 years marketing and sales experience. In 2002, he formed Castle Rock, which is a research, research which is a study guide. He specializes in marketing, QR codes, mobile landing pages. And I'll put this to you that, that uh, Frank's video, his timing is, is spot on. It always has been in business. He, he, he specializes in QR codes and mobile landing pages. It's no coincidence that the mobile phone industry has grown massively over the last 10 years. So he's put himself right in front of a major trend. And I believe he's doing that right again now with crowdfunding. His business partner, he's the brains behind the technology that we have in Impact One on One, is Hans Luhmann. Again, he has over 30 years experience. He's developed custom solutions for many leading high-tech companies. He sits on the board of directors of a Canadian blockchain company. And between them, they, these guys are basically very capable. They know exactly what they are doing. They know they provide us with the tools that we need. So this uh, platform can grow. The nice thing about these guys is yes, they are capable. They now have the results to back up how capable they are. We are today now on, uh, only 20 weeks old. We are five months old as a platform. That is it, five months. At the time of this video, as it said on the video earlier, we was 15 weeks old. They've done $4.1 million in donations through Impact 101, 4.1 million. Here we are now, five months later, it was announced yesterday, we're now at $5.2 million that's been done in donations across the globe. We're now in 148 different countries around the globe. So there's something very, very special that's going on here. So 
why impact 101 well i put this to you if i sat here at the beginning of any of these well-known platforms i'm sharing with you on screen and you decided to get involved with them in, in any capacity how wealthy would you be if you got in at the beginning that's all I'm saying when I'm talking about Impact 101. We all have the opportunity to see what's going on right at the start of a major platform. The timing is now. As I've said already, we started on the 17th of January, exactly five months ago. What I'll do now is just run through some of the attributes of this platform and why it's so different to the traditional crowdfunding platforms that you get out there. Firstly, Impact 101 is a single platform, a crowdfunding, and a marketing system. It allows you to receive half of everything that happens in your donation grid forever. And I'll explain a donation grid um, as we go along. Impact 101 is based on a two by two grid system. It's the most successful two by two follow me donation process in history. So it's just two people that help two people. So it's a team of six people, that's it. Impact 101 is a team crowdfunding system. You can't crowdfund on your own, you need to be part of a team. And this team only being two people who help two people means that you're likely to get help from a buddy within the system and you're likely to get help from people below you in the system because the teams are very small. And you're also likely to receive donations very quickly once registered. One of the main things that I like about Impact 101 is it's a peer-to-peer -peer team crowdfunding system. What that means in layman's terms is it's person-to-person it's -person crowdfunding. So what that means is if I send somebody a donation, it goes directly from my bank account directly to their bank account. Every donation I receive from around the globe goes from somebody else's bank account straight to my bank account. Not one cent of that donation Unlike GoFundMe, unlike uh, Just Giving, unlike Facebook, would go through that platform. 100% of the donation comes to the person that's expecting it. That's a major, major shift. Now, you could ask yourself, well, why would Impact 101 do that if they're not going to receive anything from the donations? Well, firstly, they provide us with an easy to navigate, totally automated, feature rich dashboard or website. And this tells us exactly who we need to send a donation to and it tells us who is about to send us a donation. So for that service we pay Impact 101 a license fee to be able to use their website. That license fee is $25 which will last for six months. $25 for six months, that is it. That's the only money that we ever give to Impact 101. And in fact, you can get a discount and pay for 12 months and get it for $40. Fantastic value. That's the only money that ever goes to Impact 101. Once you've done that, you're then eligible to send out donations and you're eligible to receive donations. Here is a typical example of a donation grid. In Impact 101, we have three simple steps. Step number one is you register, first of all, with Impact 101. You'll pay your license fee, which is the only money that goes to Impact 101. It could be the $25, or you might pay $40 for the whole year. And then you want to become an active donor. Once you've paid your license fee, Impact 101 will instruct you to send a donation to two people. Once you send that donation, you'll then class it as an active donor and you will sit at the top of your small donation grid. That's step number one. Now step number two is you're looking to find two people who would also like to become active donors like you. In this example, you've got Sue and Bill. They would register with Impact 101 like you did, and then they'd send their donations like you did, they would become active donors. Step number three, is to help your two people find their two people. So working together as a team, very simple. Here, here, here is a grid. This is our, our $40 grid, our lowest grid. So I'll show you how this can work in, in practice. So there you are at the top of your grid. You've already sent your, your $25 to Impact 101 for your license fee. You've been instructed to send two donations between two people. So if it's a $40 grid, you're gonna send half, so 
$20 goes to one person and $20 goes to another person. Once you've done that, you are then classed as an active donor. Step number two, you're looking to find two people who also want to be doing that. So you speak to your contact, your friend Sue in the UK, and Sue decides that she wants to become an active donor in Impact 101. So she pays for her license, first of all. She is then instructed to send you a donation of $20, because this is a $40 grid. And she's instructed to send a donation to somebody above you, also for $20. She's now an active donor herself. Same with Bill. Bill in the USA decides he wants to become an active donor. So he will send his $25 off to Impact 101. He then sends a donation to you, first of all, for $20, as instructed by Impact 101, and he'll send a donation to somebody above you. Now, there you are, seeing at the top of your donation grid, you've just received two donations of $20. If you remember, you donated $40 to, to two people in the first place. You just had your donation back. Now that already is very different to the typical uh, platforms such as GoFundMe. Because when you send a donation on GoFundMe, that money's gone. That's the end of it. The beauty here is when you're an active donor, you're able to receive donations as well. Now, step number three is you're going to help Sue and Bill find their two people. Now, so Sue talks to her friend Sally in Australia. Sally registers with Impact 101. She pays her $25. She's then instructed to send in the $40 grid $20 to Sue. And because she sat in your donation grid, she'll also send $20 to you. The same with Jack in China. Jack would send a donation to Sue because Sue's invited him. And Jack would send a donation to you because he sat in your grid. Bill would speak to Tom and Bill would speak to Dan. Tom and Dan would also send you a donation of $20. So there you are at the top of your donation grid, you've received six donations of $20, which is a total of $120. And remember you donated $40 in the first place, you received back three times more than what you donated in the first place. Absolutely fantastic. Now once you've received that $120, you might go, well, thank you very much. I've raised enough for what I wanted to raise money for. Or you might go, well, I'd like to do that again. That was great. So then you would then uh, donate again another $40 out of your 120 to two people in the system. And then you'd have a brand new donation good, which would be, which would be empty. And people would fall into that donation grid again. And you're going to receive donations again, another 120. And you can do that over and over and over again as many times as you want. And this is only the lowest donation grid I'm talking about so far. In fact, we have eight different donation levels. The $40 grid, as I've mentioned earlier. Then we have the $80 grid, the $150, $300, $600, $1,200, 2400 and the 4800 Now, let's say that um, money is tight, so you start with just the, the $40 grid. You've, you've completed a donation grid, you've received $120, and you go, well, that's great, I want to do that again. Out of your $120, you're going to donate $40, 20 between two people, that still leaves you with $80. Now, with that $80, the smart move is to, is to use that to get yourself into level two. So that $80, you would split between two people. $40 goes to one person, and $40 goes to another person. You're then eligible to receive six donations in that level, which is separate to your $40 grid level, uh, $40 at a time. Six times 40 is $2,400. Sorry, it's $240. And this can happen over and over and over again as you work your way up to the very top. And it's interesting to know that anybody can start on all the different levels from day one. You haven't got to go one level at a time. In fact, it makes good sense to start on multiple levels because then you're receiving donations at different levels all at the same time. Impact 101 being a feature-rich uh, dashboard means that we have all the information that we need to get off to a fast start. The green bar across the center shows you, uh, a pro it shows you exactly what you need to do. From number one, you pay your membership. Number two, you decide on how many donations you would like to receive, if it's just the $40 grid, or if it's the first three grids, which is definitely recommended, what people will do. 
how you would like to receive your, your, your payments is step number three. You then send your donation, number four, and send your donation to the person, number five. And number six, you're looking to share now with your, with your people yourself. The bar across the bottom with all the zeros, that's really the nerve center. That's your to-do list. If you have a number in the, in the first box or any of the boxes, apart from the activity, active personals, then there's something to do. If you've got a number one in donations to send, then that means you need to send a donation. Very, very simple, very, very clear. When it comes to paying your license fee to Impact 101, we have a variety of ways in which you can actually send them your $25. By credit card or debit card using Stripe, by Bitcoin or Dash using cryptocurrency. Uh, we have a token which is also a cryptocurrency. And for Asia, uh, WeChat and Alipay are huge payment processors over there, so those are also available. So there's lots of ways in which you can actually pay your $25, $25 to Impact 101. We get a lot of detail within the back office of Impact 101, so you can see a donation history, you can see exactly who you sent a donation to in the past, and exactly who you've received donations from in the past. It's great for your own accounting. Now, as I've said already, we're now in 148 different countries around the globe. We have donations of over 5.2 million gone from person to person. And I put this to you, that's, that's happened because this is a very simple system. We have a simple system for success. It's not about being a top salesperson. It's all about having conversations with people and asking somebody a simple question. Could you use some more money? And if that's too direct, you might say, do you know anybody that could use some more money? That simple question will get somebody saying, well, yes, I would have. And that's where you would send them your, your, your website or your mobile landing page and let that explain how it all works. You don't need to explain this to anybody. That simple system has been proven so far to work fantastically across the whole globe. In Impact 101, we get two mobile landing pages, one to explain Impact 101, and another one that you can make and provide as a service to anybody that has any business that they have. It could be a hairdressing salon, it could be a garage, or it could be anything. Anybody that has a presence on the internet that would like people to see their business, you could offer them a mobile landing page. And just so you know, QRGL Marketing Incorporated, which is Frank and Hans's uh, uh, main company, has been selling these mobile landing pages since 2011. And, 11. and they sell them for $250 per year. So we have a real product here that's in demand. And we get to get two of these within the system as part of our license fee. Fantastic value for money. That really is the presentation, folks. It's a very simple, simple system. It's two people who help two people. So what I suggest is you get back to the person that's invited you to this call, get, ask them for their, for their website or their mobile landing page so you can see, listen to the video, see exactly how it all comes together. If you have any other questions that the videos don't answer, we have a Facebook group which is open to everybody. It's an open group. Just get yourself into that Facebook group. So asking your questions, you will get all of your questions answered. What I plan to do now is stop sharing and we'll go through some of the basic questions that I get all the time. And if anybody's on the call that has any questions that you, um, that you get on, on a regular basis, please feel free to uh, ask away. Oh, some old faces on here I haven't seen for a while. It's good to see. <laughs> Excellent. Um, if, if anybody has any direct questions that you'd like to ask me, please unmute, unmute your mic and ask your question and I'll do my best to answer it. If not, I'm gonna run through some of the basic questions that I get almost every time I speak to somebody about Impact 101. If there's any questions anyone wants to read out, that'll be good. One of the first questions I always get is, um, is this multi-level marketing? Well, the answer to that question is no, it's not multi-level marketing. There is no commission being made by anybody. There's no multiple levels in this either. It's just a team of six people, two people who help two people. We all send donations and we all receive donations. It's as simple as that. So there's no commissions being made by anybody. So I hope that answers that one. Uh, another question I get is, um, is it, it, it's a pyramid. 
And I'll, my answer to that was, well, what do you mean by it's a pyramid? You'll probably find that they've seen that it's a two by two, and they assume that the people at the top stay at the top, and the people coming at the bottom are get left behind. But remember, it's only a two people who help two people. As soon as you've completed your two people who help two people, you're then gonna start a brand new donation grid and you'll place underneath somebody else who may well have only just started. So for, an, for example, 12 months time, I've just completed a donation grid. I always follow my sponsor, which is Duncan Wood. Let's say that Duncan has just told somebody about Impact 101 and they've just joined. I've just uh, completed a, a donation grid, so I go back into another grid again. I could end up underneath that brand new person even though I've been around for 12 months already. Now, how good is that for that brand new person to have me underneath them, building away, helping people with their donations? So the nice thing about this is ethically, nobody sits at the top. Everybody floats, keeps on moving. Once you've completed uh, your donation grid, a new one will open. It's like a continuous loop of people. So hopefully that answers it's a pyramid. Any other questions anybody might have? Because it's a very simple, simple system. No questions? Fantastic, I must have done an okay job. No questions from anybody? Hi Colin, how are you doing? Ah, uh, uh, Sean, welcome my friend, long time no see. How is Norway? Yeah, it's good, it's good. It's, uh, <laughs> it's almost 24 hours sunshine now, so I can't wow. see. Awesome, no. great to see you, great to see you. Yeah. Um, people are struggling with uh, getting contacts or getting um, inviting people. What do you recommend them that to them to do what I recommend that they do is really keep it as simple as possible you have to qualify people in the first place I see people that will just blast it out there all the time and nobody they're not really getting any takers so for me what works is having a, a conversation with somebody and when you ask that question you haven't even got to ask it directly you can do a third party approach do you know anybody that could do with some more money that's, that's an easy question to ask. It's not direct. And they're going to say, well, actually, I, I could. I haven't gone into a big uh, sales pitch about the best business in the world. I'm saying, look, do you know anybody that would like some extra money? They're going to say, well, yeah, I do. How? Then I'll say, look, I've got a video that explains it better than I can. Shall I send it to you now? Or when can I send it to you? That, keeping it as simple as that. And the more times you do that, the better the results are going to be. I guarantee you that people that are not getting the results are not constantly doing this. They'll do it for a while, then they'll stop. Then they'll do it for a while, then they'll stop. Consistency is most definitely the key, persistency. The more no's you get, it's fine, because you're gonna to come to a yes. It's just the stuff that we learned over the years when you're in relationship marketing. It's only when you stop talking about it, do things stop. Hope that answers that one, Sean. But it is, we keep it as simple as we can. That, that, that's my, my number one tip for everybody. You haven't got to be a salesperson. You just got to be able to talk to people and ask them a simple question. Do you want, do you need more money than you have now? Do you know somebody who, have, who needs more money than they have now? Simple stuff. Yeah, thank, thanks for that, Colin. Uh, because uh, um, a lot of people, like I say, is get them on the webinar. You know, the, the, the tool, what, what, what you guys do, you know, you're doing it, you know, two times a day. You, and, and the funny thing about it is like, this is a question and answers, answers, but nobody's asking, asking questions. <laughs> you know, but, the, but afterwards in the background, oh, is it a scam? Is it this, is that, you know, this is the place to ask. This is where you should bring your people, you know. So uh, great, good job. Absolutely. Now you just you just said a great one there. When somebody says to me, "It's a scam," I love that. Yeah. Straight away, I say, "Well, tell me why is it a scam?" First of all, because they haven't got a clue why it's a scam. And just so everybody's absolutely clear, this is a donation platform. It's slightly improved from the original donation platforms. If I see, if I see somebody's campaign on GoFundMe, and I decide I want to donate to that person. When I send that money to that person, that money's gone. It's not an investment. The money has gone to that person. I'll feel good because they've received that donation. The only difference with Impact 101 is that when I send somebody a donation, that money's also gone, but I'm now classed as an active donor, so I'm able to receive donations from other people across the globe. 
That's the only difference. So it's not an investment. No one's investing, so there's no scam. It's very simple. You give and then you receive. Much stronger than the, 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 the platforms where you give and you don't get anything apart from you feel good. Yeah, right. Hopefully that has answered the it's a scam. Um, <laughs> Impact 101 is now, after 20 weeks, the number one peer-to-peer -peer crowdfunding platform. And they're actually just about to improve it even more. Because in, in 2019, everybody has a smartphone. Everybody uses apps. We're about to launch our own app. Now, the beauty of that means that you'll get information faster. You'll know when you've got a donation coming faster. You can send a donation via your app faster. It means the whole system will just get even quicker. So it, it, becomes, it becomes very, very good. And it's there for everybody. It's there for everybody. Thanks, Nina. I hope that's, uh, oh, that's good for anybody. Anybody else got any questions? No? All good? Well, I will stop recording. Thank you.